And welcome to week number one of the MEA GTR Cup, or I'm sorry, week two of the MEA GTR Cup here at Brands Hatch. I'm SSR Mayhem bringing you tonight's live action as we got about 20 drivers making the show here today. Uh, we're just waiting for everybody to get rocking and rolling here. Uh, we are about to start this one. It looks good to go. Last week's winner, Hydra. Recently joined JSR. First time to have a JSR driver compete here at MEA, so it's always exciting. Uh, he'll be leading the field here. So there's about 16, uh, 15, 16 drivers in the B lobby today. Their race is currently underway, and we got about 20 here in the A lobby. So another great showing here in the GTR Cup. It's a wet one here today, one of the toughest races in the series. So let's get to the starting lineup, shall we? Starting on the front row, JSR Hydra with first timer ESV Vanquish. Sure that Tiago did damage his car. Did not. So ESV Vanquish and Hydra search for front row. Tiago and Crossins third and fourth. RZM Breeze and SSR Bobber starts in your third row right behind them. CXR Bullet, MRT Joel, they'll start in the row following them. SSR Marky, RZM Phoenix, ninth and tenth. L AMSB Shadow, WRTM, his first race appearance here in this series. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to make sure they don't mess up. CXR Supreme, Diamond Man 2014. They're going to start together. 15th Enough Amoeba alongside him with Iron Bagel. CXR Smudger and AMR Elite, his first appearance. GRT Patsy, also another first timer in MRT Truth. Back in action after uh, we haven't seen him for a while. Still making A lobby appearances. Tiago's not in his spot. He's going to need to get up to the field and get where he needs to belong. And he'll do so. <laughs> Alright, so they should be doubling up now. B Lobby guys got off to a really good start. Hopefully, the A guys do as well. Nose of the car hits the line, they'll be going green. And green flag! ESV Vanquish, JSR Hydra side by side going into one. Already a little bumping and banging out there. Somebody already off the racetrack. Let's see who that is. That's WRTM. Off to a really rough start in his first appearance. Let's get to that mid-pack group. We're riding along with CX Safar Supreme. Currently running in that 11th spot right now. And it's a wet one today, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to come down to the driver consistency and who makes the least amount of mistakes here at Brands Hatch. One of the most difficult races in the series right now. ESV Vanquish currently takes the lead from JSR Hydra. Let's get on one more camera from CXR Supreme. It's a a little wet out there, as you can tell from most of these guys. Bring up the race map, and you see WRTM a little bit away from the pack right now. But you gotta be patient. There's a battle for the lead, it looks like. Up front, let's get up there with them. Looks like Vanquish took a little spinny spin spin. Teammate 
Crossland there, also formerly known as Chasmo, sitting in that second spot right now. The youngsters up front, ladies and gentlemen, these two up front are about between the ages of 14 to 16, and they're leading the pack. And SSR Bobbert's had a big mistake early on in this race. He's dropped back quite a ways back to that 17th spot, looks like. Looks like 16th now. He's a top contender in the series. Missed last week due to some personal life issues. Right now, battling a CXR Smudger side by side, going in the one. So, Bobbert's got his hands full early on this race. He's currently battling in a pack of his own. So, not what you want to see uh, as one of the top competitors here. RZM Breeze back in race action with us. Was in week one, but was in the B lobby due to misqualification. He did win. So here he is today as well, looking to try to do some battling as he's following RFR Tiago. Tiago ran a great race last week, got a couple of bumps along the way. Riding along with Breeze here. You see the top five cars, ladies and gentlemen, sticking close to one another, not getting away too far. There's a battle between MRT Joel and it looks like CXR Bula. But as they go side by side to the turn back here, oh, but they get nudged! Let's get back there and check it out. And Roberts right there, or I'm sorry, that was Marky, and it looks like Phoenix got a little together there in the wetness of the rain. So a couple of drivers struggling early here. WRTM still back there all by him lonesome, but it gives him a chance to try to put down some good laps, not make too many mistakes, see what he can do as he battles to try to get back to the group. Get back up to the front pack now. The top five cars still going at it. Breeze looking to take a look on our RFR Tiago. The top five, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't seen a battle for first like this in quite some time. Five cars. It's a battle in there. Positions one through five. And I took down the loop. I do apologize. Let me get that back up on the screen. Riding with Crossland right now. Vanquish retook the lead though, ladies and gentlemen. So it must have been a little battle between Hydra and Crossland there. So ESV Vanquish retakes the lead on lap number three. Now, I do recall, ladies and gentlemen, I know it's a 39 lap lace, but the first pace lap uh, kind of balances out <laughs> uh, the cars the way we went from the start. So right now they're on lap three of 38. The heavy rain is downpouring. It should clear up a little bit mid race, but there's going to be some more rain. Uh, coming, so these guys need to try to find their laps early, try to get to that nice little spot where when they do dry up a little bit mid-race, uh, they'll be able to kind of put down their own laps and see what they can do. So right, but right now, ESV Bank, which is looking to lead the pack here, he's starting to get a little bit of a gap on Hydra. Pull up the race map and see all what's going on. Looks like the back of the pack uh, let Yem show up. Oh, wait. Oh, Yem took an early pit stop, ladies and gentlemen. Go back to see how 17th or 18th, I'm sorry, 16th or 18th is going. Here we got a little bit of a battle going on here. Amar Light in that little battle there. He's back in the 18th spot. MRT Truth right there as well. See how Bobberts has rebounded. Bobberts has moved up to the 11th spot, ladies and gentlemen, after having an early mistake in this race. But Bobberts started in about 6th, went all the way back to about 16th, 17th, and has gained about 5 positions since then. Let's check on SSR Markey. See how he's doing. A little bit more in front of these guys. Currently just battling for position as well. RCM Phoenix has dropped back to about 14, ladies and gentlemen. He started about 10th in this race. Got a little bit of a collision with SSR Markey earlier on. Diamond Man 2014 trying to hold off SSR Markey. SSR Markey, a champion in MEA, but hasn't seen a race win since 2018. You know, he would like to get up to the front and do some battling. An MEA prototype champion from season one. 
series we just actually got done for season two for this series. Nice little battle here for eighth spot. MSB Shadow, that's our Bobberts in the picture as well. Bobberts doing a little bit of a rebound here. I believe that is also Supreme behind them, if I'm correct. No, that's Smudger, I'm sorry. GRT Patsy right there as well. Bobberts being a little patient with the car right now. Smudger and Patsy look like they're going to be doing some battling back there for that 12th spot. Bola, who started a little bit higher than I believe where he's currently at. Now, I'm, I could be wrong, but I think he at least lost the position, maybe two. SSR Marky looking to work on Diamond Man, though. And SSR Bars, after a little bit of an accident early on in this race, I believe he went off the racetrack. As SSR Marky gets by Diamond Man 2014. Now he gets in the open air. Check the race map out. See how the race leads going on. ESV Vanquish, ladies and gentlemen, has started to pull it away from the pack. Last week's winner, JSR Hydra, currently running second, was the pool sitter. FRF Tiago, currently running in that third spot. RZM Breeze is up to fourth, and Crossland has dropped back to fifth. So a little bit of a chaotic stuff going on here. MRT Jewel, though, ladies and gentlemen, has bumped his way up to that sixth spot, but is currently battling with CXR Bula as they're going side by side in the turns two and three. This is our Marky trying to get involved in this little dispute. And he's right there in the picture as well. So battle for the sixth, seventh, and eighth spot. It commenced. Diamond in 2014 and those other guys that were also in that mix starting to get up through the pack as well. All 20 drivers still on the racetrack. This is a really wet one today, ladies and gentlemen. A lot's going on for these guys, and it's getting really, really interesting. Bobberts moving up to that 10th spot now. So Bobberts got around AMSP Shadow. Oh, a little bit of a bump there from SSR Marky side by side as they go into the turn with MRT Jewel. But Marky will back off, giving Jewel a little bit of space to get back into that turn. Really difficult portion of the racetrack. They're side by side now. Marky backs off, does the crossover, trying to pull it off here. MRT Jewel gets into the grass, and he'll lose two positions. So Diamond Man 2014 gets by him as well. So now MRT Jewel is going to have to defend against SSR Bobber to try to rebound at the beginning of this one. against RZM Phoenix. Jules having all sorts of problems in this one. Now, we've talked about in the past that MRT Jules was a very consistent driver here at MEA. We've seen him so many times. The first time I think we've ever seen him race in the rain is currently battling with Phoenix. RZM Phoenix to the inside. Phoenix looking to make the move here. Now, there's a line of cars behind them, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot going on. Ooh, he taps RZM Phoenix off the fence side by side. A lot's going on here. From 12th back to 17th, this pack is big. See, Phoenix hits the grass, loses another position. See Smudger right there in the rear view camera, camera of Jules. But you see that pack and it's just, it is just a big pack. Look at this. Going for the pass, Smudger to the outside, going in the one. Side by side. Smudger has to let go, just a little bit on the brakes. This pack has just grown and grown and 
and groan. Let's get on B Shadow there. He did a special paint this week. Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Very nicely done and uh, support the cause. He's out there currently running in that 13th position right behind Phoenix. These guys haven't really broken apart from one another. I mean, they're hanging in there real tight. And you can tell the drivers are racing very cautiously in this one because uh, they're not taking any real risks. They're <clears throat> pretty much playing it safe. They're with one another. And I believe, you know, all these guys know the consequences if you make the wrong decision. Oh my gosh, but Spudger goes way off the racetrack and he'll lose position. Mudger has dropped all the way back to 17th, 18th as well. Oh, possibly 19th, but MRT Truth, Iron Bagel, and Smudger all get collided in that one. And I think Smudger is just trying to get back on the racetrack and uh, get back in the rhythm, but was unable to stabilize the car, colliding with MRT Truth. And uh, that was a close one there, but all three of the drivers seem to be okay, and they're back on the racetrack. Let's see how WRT Gem's doing. He's all by himself right now, and unfortunately, Breaking news comes out on that one as he was damaged on the warm-up lap and also he had to pit early because of a spin-out in lap number one. So he's kind of having to do a rebound race and uh, we'll see what happens here. Meanwhile, the leaders in one and two spot, JSR Hydra is starting to reel back in. ESD Vanquish, these two guys have drifted away from third back. Now, FRF Tiago is currently playing defense, I believe, against RZM Breeze and ESV Crossland. And yes, he is. RZM Breeze not really getting a good run here uh, early on. It's a rainy, rainy race, and you gotta wonder how much these guys have put in practice in order to keep their cars. Oh, but Crossland and Tiago hit the grass, but Crossland made the biggest mistake of the two, and uh, he was able to rebound pretty well there, though didn't lose a whole lot of time. CXR Bulla running in that sixth spot. <laughs> Looks like Marky made a mistake as well. He's back behind Diamond Man again, and his teammate SSR Bobberts uh, showing back up into that picture as well, so we might have a battle here. Uh, between Roberts, Marky, and Diamond Man, 7th, 8th, and 9th, as those three have been pretty much cutting up through the field together. But uh, Marky almost loses it there, got a little bit of a sim twitch, it looked like. Let's check how Phoenix is doing. He's also moved back inside the top 10, and he's gotten away from that group. So, a good thing for Phoenix is he had a little bit of a rough start, but was able to hang in with that pack, and it looks like uh, things are paying off. It goes further back in that group with CXR Supreme. He's behind GRT Patsy. Patsy, uh, first time racer in this series as well. He goes to the inside of Jewel, or I'm sorry, in the inside of Supreme. Looked like he tried to go by uh, Jewel there, but laid off on the car just a little bit, so nothing bad was gonna happen. And Supreme goes to the inside, side by side with Patsy. Patsy trying to hold on to the outside line, see if he can get a better run off the corner, and he does. here a little bit. Let's see how things are going on. There's SSR Bobberts right there. He got by SSR Markey. Markey having a little bit of struggles early on this race. He's been able to go kind of back and forth with it. Uh, Diamond Man, meanwhile, has been able to drift off because uh, he hasn't really had to defend. SSR Markey, though, battling with his teammate for the eighth spot. Knows the tail. ESV Vanquish, still your race. There, Markey goes to the inside and almost clips in the Bobberts and Bobberts. I uh, wasn't very sure about that, that moment there. He looked like he was trying to pull into the inside line. He does race on point view, so he probably didn't see Marky there coming to his inside line, but was able to hold on to the car. Mark was able to back off just a little bit to create uh, less tension for both drivers. Being his teammate, obviously, they probably don't want to see one another wreck into each other. But 
ESV's Vanquish still leading this one. RZM Breeze currently in fifth. I did miss a couple of the cars, but I know that Crossland's running currently in that fourth spot. Tiago's running third, and Hydra's in that second spot. So those are one through five, a little bit mixed up there. Pull up the race map here. Let's see how things are spreading out. Now, this is a smaller track, ladies and gentlemen. It's not as big as the tracks we normally race here at MEA. Uh, we didn't run the smaller circuit. We ran the full version. And uh, being in the rain, this is going to be really interesting and possibly lap down cars. But look at this pack back here, everybody. I mean, RZM Phoenix is able to get away from it. He's moving up to Marky and Bobber. So we might see a little bit of a little battle there going on. Here's the battle between 11th and 15th. Now, two of those cars, I mean, it was about a seven-car lap. Marky goes into the pits, though. He's going to make a pit stop and uh, get some fresh tires and see what he can do as uh, this race starts to slowly progress. And Joel goes off the racetrack in the turn one. Another mistake by MRT Joel. There's RZM Phoenix up ahead. The guys from 10th to 13th. Joel right there. He's going to have to start to get back on it. Had probably the most interesting racing so far in this one. It's starting to slowly spread out, though, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it, it's slowly. In the beginning, these guys race very patiently, but the mistakes have been starting to be made throughout the race, and uh, it's definitely starting to show. Obviously, as uh, we've seen a couple of people go off the racetrack, past trying to hold off enough amoeba. As they're currently almost side by side, but Amoeba knew better to back off. This part of the track has been the trickiest part of the track. It seems to be getting a lot of our drivers. Uh, I don't know if it has a mixture with the rain or just overdriving the turn, but passing, not getting a good run off that corner there. He's going side by side with enough Amoeba. And I didn't mean to do that, guys. Sorry. And they're still side by side going into the final corner. A little bump and a grind in there, trying to knock each other a little bit loose. But enough of you with backs off again, but no, Patsy goes way off into the turn. And he's going back on the racetrack, taking his time. So Patsy, a little bit of a mistake there, has to get back to him, rebound. And he's got Iron Beagle there, probably getting ready to uh, challenge him for position. Let's, try, let's see how Bull is doing. He's currently running in that sixth spot, but I believe he's all by himself. Not a whole lot going on for him. FRF Tiago and ESV Crossland currently running together, third and fourth, and Breeze right there behind them, all by himself. And Daniel Green down there, rooting for RZM. We see guys rooting for a couple different guys race here today and we're glad to have all you guys there if you want to chat let me know i got my chat box down there below if there's anybody you want to see throughout this race you know is racing uh please let us know we'll, uh, we'll check on how they're doing and see how things are going wrtm though is almost finally moved up to that 18th spot now pit stops have started commencing in this race now he's currently uh on currently one pit stop ahead not sure if he can make it on fuel the rest of the way we'll have to find out there's JSR Hydra starting to slowly reel in ESV Vanquish. Vanquish. Got experience. He knows the young gun behind him. Definitely got the pace and obviously being a pole sitter. He knows he's got to be very consistent. Here's this part of this track that's a uh, very tricky bend. And Hydra gets into that just a little bit there. Just kind of lay off. You see the water on the track dialing in, making this a little difficult for these drivers. But you see those guys in first and second, they took off. No longer Crossland, Breeze, and Tiago. They're, they're out of the picture. <laughs> Tiago's sitting there in that third spot. He's defending against Crossland. And then Tiago almost overdrove the corner. But was able to hang on to it. Crossland. Very respectful, giving him an opportunity to get back on the racetrack. He didn't have to do that, but he did, and, uh, and Tiago was able to rebound from that. And because of that, Breeze is starting to show back up in the picture. See 
Yarzy and Breeze now finally showing up after the little mistake by Tiago and, and Crossland obviously having to hit the brakes a little bit that brought Breeze back into the picture. These three have pretty much been together to start of the race. They were with two race leaders who pretty much took off on them and are actually starting to get into some lap traffic. And uh, that's starting to get interesting. Look, there's a few battles on the racetrack. Obviously, we're currently on uh, the three-way battle for the third between Tiago, Crossland, and Breeze. The battle for the lead between Vanquish and Hydra. <laughs> Further behind, 10th through, looks like 12th. The three-way battle between B Shadow, Amoeba, and Leet. Uh, first car that looks to go lap down is Yem. And Vanquish will take a pit stop. Hydra will stay on the racetrack. See how that plays out for that for them. See if Vanquish gets caught up in anything specific. Vanquish back turn seven behind Diamond Man. Back on that set, that third or well, second place bow right now is Cross and Tiago. And there he is for the pass. Side by side with Tiago. Tiago still next to him. Just couldn't. Oh man, these guys are still going at it. Crossland tried to make the pass. Tiago able to on. Breeze is just sitting there, waiting, patiently waiting, looking for an opportunity. And it looks like those three are all going to go in together. Respectively, as the rain has stopped, Hydra stayed on the racetrack, though, and so did Tiago. Vanquish now coming on by. So things are starting to dry up a little bit here for these guys. Let's go back and check out that battle between Yem and Supreme. Let's get on Yem here. Yem trying to rebound earlier on. Let's check out how his fuel is. 
He's on halfway fuel, so we don't know. I, I think he's going to have to make another pit stop at this point, but it's going to be really interesting to see. Yeah, I'm trying to get involved in some racing as he had a little bit of unfortunate circumstances at the beginning of the race. All 20 drivers still on the racetrack, however. Pull up the race map to see if uh, the leader had pitted and Tiago stays out on the racetrack. Tiago will stay on the racetrack. Here comes ESB Vanquish. And he gets on by. I believe he just he, he, went, he went right on by uh, Hydra. So Hydra. Not getting the run he wanted all by himself. Vanquish able to take advantage of the dry a little earlier than Hydra did. RZM Phoenix as well. <laughs> Diamond Man will make his pit stop. FRF Tiago though is still on the racetrack. I wonder if this is gonna how this is gonna affect him. Now he's still on the same tires that he ran at the beginning of this race. So he hasn't made a piss up, so he's still got a little water on that on those tires. You gotta wonder how that might be affecting him as the race progresses here. RZM Phoenix, he's still on the racetrack. He's still running with those same tires. Got a battle, though, for the 13th spot between Supreme and AMSB Shadow. Boberts is currently running in that 11th position now. He hasn't gotten any further up, but these guys are currently on their pit cycles. So we'll see how this plays out for all these guys. We'll pull up the race map. FRF Tiago still stays out on the racetrack. Or, no, he made a pit stop. The FRF Tiago is in the pits. So he, we'll have to see how that plays out for Tiago because he was actually battling with the with Crossland and Breeze. And those two take an earlier pit stop to get those fresh tires out there. And look at that. Both of them get off by Tiago. And Tiago's running in a little bit of a problem as well. So it looks like if you stayed out on the track a little bit longer, uh, it really did affect you because you're still running on those those rain tires. And uh, AMR Light, ladies and gentlemen, he's currently in the seventh spot, and so is Beagle in that eighth. Those two guys haven't made pit stops, and they're still running on uh, tires, a little bit of wet tires as well. Uh, so you gotta wonder who's behind them at the point of the uh, point of the race when they made pit stops, and how this could have possibly affected their race. Because it seems like if you stayed out on the racetrack 
uh, while we're currently in these drier conditions, it's definitely not been beneficial for most of these guys. We've seen Hydro lose plenty of time from Vanquish from his pit stop, and I believe Hydro only stayed out for a few laps. You can see them up there on the bend going the last two turns. Uh, they're still near one another, but not as close as they could be. <laughs> and it looks like RZM Phoenix running in that third spot now, but he still has to pit as well. There is a battle still going on between Supreme and B Shadow. We'll have to find out here if Phoenix is going to make a pit stop. He's just getting off the final corner now. He stays out on the racetrack a little bit longer. Riding along with RZM Breeze. Just tuning in, this is week number two of the AMA GTR Cup. I'm Mr. Mayhem bringing you tonight to action here at Brands Hatch. We just got out of a little bit of some heavy rain. We're currently in the dry stages of the race. And I'm sure these guys are enjoying this a little bit more than what they were earlier on as uh, they were running through some really tough rain conditions and uh, obviously out there trying to the cars up, getting into action, drive with Breeze here. Breeze uh, finding out where strength has got to hold on to the cars a little bit there. Hydra is starting to really lose Vanquish. Vanquish really putting on some speed here. Supreme and Beast are still going at. Yem and Amoba are near one another. And then also Iron Beagle and MRT Jewel. Let's check out that little battle. It looks like they're the closest two to one another here. Jewel struggling er earlier in this race because of the rainy conditions. It seemed like he just was struggling with it. seen the windshield wipers moving on the car so obviously the rain has completely faded out for at least the time being as the forecast shows a thunderstorm is probably coming and uh, these guys know that this is the best time if you got speed and you know that you're a lot faster in, in these drier conditions to maybe make up some ground on some of the other drivers that have uh, definitely been trying to take the opportunity to uh, stay on the racetrack and enough amoeba and WRT yeah, currently battling enough amoeba running that 78 in this GTR currently battling with WRT yeah, who uh, we know is bit, is still out there he's still battling he hasn't given up yet and that's what we love to see we still have all 20 drivers on the racetrack which is a beautiful thing uh, and, and the conditions like today and a track like this as protectable as it can be uh, Yem is really putting on a show to stay out there and make something of it. And that's what you want to see here uh, from the drivers. Never backing down from the challenge. And uh, he's doing a great job. And obviously getting in the mix right now with some battling, which is uh, most of the race he, was, he didn't get a whole lot of because he had some issues, some damage early on. And uh, obviously had to make a pit stop <laughs> due to uh, damage. And uh, he also spun out in the race. But he's holding off the needle pretty well, but it looks like they're actually catching up with Beast Shadow and Supreme, who Supreme, I believe, finally got passed by Beast Shadow. And enough of me, but looks like he got a good run, but uh, just not able to get to the outside line. Could we see history today? Could, could every driver cross the front the finish line <laughs> in the a lap? And 
and Supreme losing position. Enough Amiibo doing some battling. Yem struggling as well. I do apologize. Had uh, some issues there as I was trying to figure a couple things out. But look at this. Phoenix is in the pits, ladies and gentlemen. Have to leave. WRTM. Not sure if he lagged out or sent it home, but the Thunder and the Rain are back. We are down to the final 13 laps of the race. Phoenix right there. We got a battle for eighth, though. That's our Bobberts and Diamond Man. Bobberts working on him now. Now Bobberts has uh, had an up and down race and obviously he's out there trying to rebound from it. RZM Breeze still with Crossland, however. Now, uh, we are, we haven't seen Breeze really make any big changes and since the race has begun. He's been trying to hang with these guys, but it's every time he gets to them, something has happened. And uh, so, right now, he's just got to be patient. We've got plenty of laps left in this race. He's right there for the kill to get within the top three. Uh, so, we'll see what happens here as him and Crossland are battling it out. And, a few battles on the racetrack, so it's getting really interesting. And just breaking into Yam, he said, put the car in the garage. He said, he said it seems like we're just not going to get any progress, so unfortunate. But hopefully, we'll see him next week with a little bit more better, uh, uh, a little better luck as he had a little bit of some unfortunate luck. Beast Shadow and Supreme still battling out. AMR Elite and Iron Beagle, those two are going at it still. Jewel off the track and not sure what's happened to Jewel. Frame getting wide there. Had some really unfortunate luck here in the last few races of MEA. 
It's all started with the back, the end of the prototype challenge, and uh, hasn't had the best of luck since, uh, since then. And uh, he's trying to have a turnaround portion to his season. It's just things just haven't gone the way he's like. RZM Breeze, though, however, on the back of Crossland. <laughs> Battle for third. Breeze working on Crossland for that third spot. Place battle, Crossland and Breeze. Tiago has drifted off into the back, and uh, he definitely took he, he definitely took a beat from that. And uh, you gotta think, in Tiago's mind was staying on the racetrack with those wet tires really beneficial. And I think he's gonna I think he's gonna forget, you know he's gonna have to rethink about that. In the Whenever something like this happens again, obviously we've seen all the drivers that did stay on the racetrack really pay a cost to that. Um, oh, but it looks like RZM Phoenix has passed up Bobberts for the eighth spot. Something happened with Bobberts, he's dropped back in position. So Phoenix getting a little bit of a rebound from the beginning of this race where he dropped back to about 14th. Uh, so uh, Breeze's teammate getting a little bit of a good re rebound from early on in this race. Breeze, meanwhile, He's really trying to make something happen here. He's, he's doing everything he can. Have seen a lot of action in this race. He's trying to make something happen here. And you see uh, Cross is just defending his line. Ride on with Breeze here and see what happens. So 18 cars still up. Breeze sticking the nose to the inside. Side by side. Oh, but Breeze has to let go just a little bit there. A tough corner to make something happen. Gets back in line with Crossland. ground but still right there still plenty of time for brief to make something happen here and if you're just tuning in this is a lobby week number two of the gtr cup i'm ssr mayhem bringing the live action here at brands hatch we got a thunderstorm brewing this has been a very interesting race we've only lost two drivers within the last three laps of this race actually we've had all 20 drivers in the main portion of the race uh wrtm had some struggles in the early in the stages of the race. Ended up sending it to the garage early, or late early, I should say, um, due to, uh, didn't think there was much anything that come out of it. Uh, also, MRT Joel struggled in this one. He's out of the race a couple laps ago. So we get down to 18 drivers, but it's been a good one. As RZM Breeze still working on that third place spot. We'll bring up the race map. JSR Hydra has lost a ton of ground on ESB Vanquish. Vanquish currently your race leader. FRF Tiago though is also in some trouble. CXR Bull has caught up to him. Bobber's trying to get back on Phoenix there as well as we sit on this battle for the third spot. And we're going to get on board with Breeze here and see what it's looking like on his end. Lobby. It's close to a final as well. Not sure how that one's played out. Hopefully we can find out how the B Lobby finished up for you guys and get a result on that. The A Lobby guys still going at it right now. Cross and still defending position. It's a tough place to pass on. 
especially when it's raining and the technical of a track as this can be, especially this portion of the track here. A lot can happen. We've seen a lot of people go off here though, and uh, that's been the difference maker. Many portions of this race, Breeze tried to get a run, but Crossland said, no way, my man. And uh, Crossland able to uh, place a pretty good defense on Breeze. On the back bumper, Crossland again knows the tail. Breeze trying to find something. The winner of the B lobby last week due to lung qualifications. See the race map. Now Vanquish is getting close to lap traffic. How can this take effect? Now he's got about six more laps to try to hold this one together. As Crossland side by side, Breeze trying to make a run to the outside line. Side by side as they get ready to go up the left handing hill here. Trying to pull the crossover. I think he's right where he wants to be. Side by side, Crossland. Who's the crown? Side by side. Can they hold on to it through the oh, No, Breeze off the racetrack. And Crossland feels that he caused a little bit of that. And he's waiting for him. So Breeze tried to hold on to that. Wasn't able to, but Crossland thought that he might have pushed him out a little bit wide, waited up for him. Probably having too much fun out there battling with one another. And we got race results from the B Lobby. It is official, ladies and gentlemen. It loads up here. I can let you guys know. 12 drivers finished that one. And PMC Supra MK4. Again, that's PMC Supra MK4 takes the win. FRF Camp is second. SSR Honey Badger third. SSR Oval Racer fourth. And rounding out the top five of the B Lobby, FBR Brettford 420. So that's your race results there. Breeze still working on the back end of Crossland. Hard to get off this battle. It's a front battle for third, and uh, we know there's probably a couple others on the racetrack, but this one's extremely important because Crossland's up there in the points right now, and Breeze is trying to get points because he missed the A lobby last week in the championship. Yeah, but he won the B lobby, which was great for him because that's a big, big win for him, being that he missed qualifications. But you know at this point, Hydra is the points leader. He's currently running second, and Breeze needs to make as many points as possible, and so does Crossland. So these guys are all oh, side by side, and Breeze dives in to Crossland, and Crossland gets off the track, and he says, hey, man, sorry, but he, he took off on him, and... Uh, Crossland back on the racetrack, so those guys are in the same party together, so you gotta wonder what kind of words are going across one another's minds. And it was definitely an interesting battle, and uh, Breeze will take the third spot. We'll go back to the fourth place battle as FRF Tiago is still holding off CXR Bula. If you're 
that chat box. Let me know what do you do if you were vanquished at this point. And I'll show you the race map because he's got a nice little lead on Hydra there. You see Hydra now getting into the little hairpin there. There's a three car, three, four car battle back as well. Let's get on that here in a minute. See what, see what Vanquish does as he's behind the lap down cars. You obviously know you don't want to ruin their battle, but in the meantime, you don't want to lose too much time. There are only a few laps to go in this race, but the rain being how it is, you, you don't want to make any mistakes. Smudger's letting him on by, respectively letting him on by, giving up that battle between Truth. Go further back and see how Bobberts has rebounded. Is he with? He is. He's right there. Oh, hangs on to it. Battling Diamond Man. And, and Phoenix has had a great second half of this race, ladies and gentlemen. He's all the way back up to seven. And Bobberts just struggling in this one. And I'm pretty sure this was the three car battle that we were keeping an eye on. And it must look as if so. Marky's in battle as well with, I believe, yep, that's Beast Shadow. Not a, not a great second half for Marky as he struggled <laughs> late in this race. Beast Shadow and Marky have had some history in the past. Good history. Had some good battles back in the Prototype Challenge. Currently doing some battling here. Brands Hatch. Knows the tail. Supreme in front of them. Amoeba not too far off behind them as well. Looks like Tiago's getting a break, possibly. From Bula, and he did. He got away from Bula. Looks like Bula must have made a mistake. Diamond Man's catching up to Phoenix, however. But made a mistake. Sorry. Or I'm sorry, Beast made the mistake. Amoeba's right there. I do apologize. I was looking at the race map to see how everyone's doing, and I didn't even pay attention to the, the instance. That's what happens when you're a lone commentator, ladies and gentlemen. So much going on, you're trying to make sure you keep the crowd engaged, and uh, I missed that. So I do apologize. I'm sure you guys saw it, though. Let's go see how Phoenix is going to hold up. He's actually going to be playing defense here, I believe, against Diamond Man. One lap to go, though, ladies and gentlemen. Well, two laps to go, but one to go next time by. Seventh, eighth, and ninth. Time in. Almost lost it there. Looked like he got a little wide. They able to make sure that the car didn't get into the grass. Hydra getting into the lap traffic as well now. up so a great day here at MEA uh, for all the drivers competing that Diamond Man does get a really good run oh Bobberts and Hipkide side by side and Bobberts will squeeze around him and see if he can challenge RZM Phoenix and white flag this time around down the chat box talking. He's got a little bit of a distance on him. Hydra's actually in the lap traffic. He's not even around the two lap cars that are already down. 
by Vanquish. And what a story is this. We've, we've never had Vanquish compete in an NBA event before. He was supposed to compete back in the prototype challenge. He's not able to compete. He joined us this week. Started second. Got away from the pool sitter of Hydra as they had a five-car battle between those two, Tiago, Cross, and Andres. During the pit cycles, beside the pit, Hydra stayed out on the wet tires. Really, really made a difference in this race. And with only another turn to go in his first MEA appearance, ESB Vanquish will take the win in week number two of the MEA GTR Cup. And congratulations to him, and we'll bring him in for post-race interviews coming up next. As JSR Hydra, not the result he probably was hoping to get, but nothing too bad as he comes across line second. Arzigan Breeze started back around the sixth spot, was able to battle his way up to the front, got around Crossland a couple laps ago, and he'll finish in that third spot as long as he doesn't go off turn no, the final turn of the race. Crossland, well, what can you say about this young kid? He's done a great job and uh, a little mistake late in the race, battling, but was able to hang on and he won that fourth spot. Tiago, another great result for Tiago in his second appearance here at MEA and a title contender as well. So he'll finish in that fifth spot. CXR Bola, uh, what a good race by him as well. He'll take sixth and seventh. RCM Phoenix coming around that final bend as well. SSR Bobbers will take eighth. Ninth will be Diamond Man. Supreme, CXR Supreme being able to hold off SSR Marky, who uh, is probably not going to be happy with his race results today as uh, he's going to those two are coming around the final bend. Enough Amoeba in that 12th spot. 13th will be AMSB Shadow. 14th will be AMR Elite or Light. I apologize if I said that wrong. I'm sure he'll correct me if he hears that. Or you guys. I don't know. GRT Patsy in his first ever appearance here at MEA as well. Those two guys finishing 14th and 15th. Sith 16th, Iron Beagle. Last week lagged out early. Was able to hang on for this one. CXR Smudger. He's the lap down, but going down to his final lap now as well. All right, no, he's coming across the line. 18th, MRT Truth, he'll come across the line, and then MRT Jewel and WRT Yem rounds out the top 20. <laughs> so we are going to get post-race interviews here momentarily as we bring the drivers on in for the interviewing process, and we'll get Vanquish here, we'll get Hydra, Tiago, um, he doesn't speak English, so we're not going to be able to get him in here as well. <laughs> and... What a race that was, and we'll bring these guys in for post-race interviews here uh, momentarily as uh, we'll, get the, we'll get ready for next week following, and uh, we'll go from there, guys. So we'll just wait for these guys to get on in here, and uh, we get it. All right, so we got Hydra, Vanquish, Crossland, and then we're just waiting on Breeze. This Tiago can't talk. <laughs> and you guys that just got in here, make sure you guys check the audio off. All right, and we're going to start with fifth here as FRF Tiago will take the fifth position. A uh, good race by him today, obviously losing a lot of time staying out on the racetrack with those wet tires during the dry portion of the race, but he'll finish with a top five after he had to hold off CXR Bulla, so congratulations to him on a top five. ESV Crossland, what a race it was for you, you and Breeze there, uh, with only about ten to go, really we're going at it, uh, obviously some questionable stuff, but uh, it's definitely some hard racing in these wet conditions. Uh, what was the difference throughout the race between the wet, the dry, and then getting back into the wet? And that racer, and then obviously you battling with Breeze. Um, how did that all go? Obviously you guys were with each other most of the race, and then with Tiago, with Tiago, obviously staying out on the racetrack for a few more laps before pitting, obviously affected his race. How and the battling between you and Breeze. Uh, obviously you guys had a couple different portions of the race, but uh, it was definitely good stuff. I mean, yeah, 
we both pit at the same time. I didn't think he was going to pit at the same time as me, but he can pit at the same time. Gained a load on Thiago. Um, he was battling a bit. I kind of hit him off, but I waited for him. And then going into, I don't know what turn it is, the right hander. He uh, hit me off and then didn't bother waiting. That was really it. Well, congratulations on the top five, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. And RZM Breeze, obviously you guys uh, had some issues there, but uh, take us through your portion of the race and uh, make sure that your audio is checked off as well in the party. Uh, obviously, uh, Crossan expressed his opinions there as well, but let's hear from your side and uh, how your race has gone. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I knew to the rain, I've done it before, and I thought it was a bit of fun. But yeah, I... I thought that the two incidents, he went deep on the first and hit me off. The second one, I break straight, he, I don't know, he went off. No, he wasn't, he wasn't there. Well, you know, Breeze, we're talking about the racing here today and obviously the weather conditions. And uh, uh, we, we've had some of these races in the past, but uh, for you as well, uh, how difficult was it for you to transition from the wet and the dry throughout the race? <laughs> Not too bad. wasn't as much of a difference as I thought it would be. You guys, on, on the beginning of the race, you guys in the top five were all with one another. And then obviously Hydra and Vanquish started getting away from the, you guys. And it was between you, Crossland, and Tiago. And then obviously Tiago stayed out on the racetrack. And uh, obviously that, that cost him because it seemed like the guys that stayed out with the wet tires, it really affected their race uh, when they decided to pit uh, compared to the guys that pitted right before or during the, uh, the, the drier conditions. Yeah, it must have just helped the grip a bit more with the fresh tyres, I think. Well, nonetheless, we're glad to see you back in action. Obviously, last week, uh, you were you did race, but you weren't in the A lobby, and uh, you were able to make the qualifications this week, so you didn't have that same problem again. But congratulations on a top three finish, Breeze, and we're looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. And last week's winner, JSR Hydra, uh, what a race it was for you, getting the pull, but obviously Vanquish was able to get that earlier lead. You guys had a little bit of some exchange there for the lead uh, between you, Vanquish, and uh, Crossland. Uh, and then obviously you guys took off. It seemed like you were able to hang with him, but once the dry came out, you stayed out on the racetrack. Uh, did, did you think, as, as like I thought as well, uh, that staying out during the dry conditions with those wet tires affected you at all? Uh, yeah, it did affect me a little bit. I, I lost a bit of time. I, I don't know why, but um, then I made a few mistakes after my pit. I went off three times in the, the last section in the fast right. And um, yeah, just vanquished on a really good race. And we, when, like I was saying, I mean, we saw it from so many guys that stayed out. Uh, Phoenix and uh, Diamond Man and, and you as well and Tiago. And it seemed like everybody that was out there... Uh, it just seemed like it really did affect them, and obviously you noticed the difference when you came back onto the racetrack, and Vanquish was obviously a lot further ahead. Uh, but obviously, second place, not too bad. Uh, three more weeks to go, trying to get another, another title here at MEA, and it uh, looked like you're having a lot of fun out there. What was, the, what was the difference for the conditions of you? Did you have any issues transitioning throughout the race? Um, it's just off fast, right, to be honest. Going from wet to dry, that just kind of messed me up. Uh, in the wet, you had to kind of like slide it through, but in the dry, you had to you had to actually drive through it. So, and how patient were you throughout the beginning stages of the race? It seemed like a lot of guys were extremely patient, especially in those uh, rainy conditions. And and obviously, the section of the racetrack that you're talking about, it, it got a lot of people today. Actually, it got a good portion of the drivers. Um, but nonetheless. Um, how patient were you and how patient did you have to be? Because at one point you were a couple positions back and you had to kind of rebound and get past Crossland and, and, and get right back up there with Vanquish. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was trying to be patient and then I got out in front on like lap two or three and then I got a bump from Jasmo and that put me behind. So that's that's pretty much it. Well, congratulations on the top five and obviously uh, uh, wasn't the best result. But I'm sure it wasn't a disappointing result as uh, obviously finishing second and getting first last week will keep you up to the point standings of the lead. But uh, going into next week uh, should be really interesting. Uh, obviously, we still have one more race where things get interesting with the reverse grid. Uh, but nonetheless, congratulations on top five. Thanks. 
and moving up to the race winner first time racer here at MEA and uh, first time winner at MEA ESB Vanquish takes the race win and congratulations Vanquish uh, glad to have you with us and uh, wasn't it wasn't too much of a struggle for you obviously at the beginning of the race the battling between you Crossland Hydra and, and then obviously Tiago and Breezer right there but once you got out front it seemed like you just were putting out some pretty steady laps and obviously you're a very experienced driver uh, did you have any issues with the transition of today's race between the weather uh, yeah, I didn't practice the rain, but about five laps in the breaking lane, that's it. That's <laughs> and, you know, we, uh, like I said, obviously you missed last week, and uh, we, we hope to see you back in the following weeks for the remainder of the series, but uh, uh, how patient did you have to be as well in the early stages of that race? So obviously it was when you guys were transitioning, and uh, not sure if you made a mistake, because we actually missed it when you lost the lead. Uh, but how patient did you have to be and, and for other drivers uh, in the conditions of today? Well, uh, it, was, it was quite difficult because, I mean, like I said, I didn't practice. That's why I was going so slow in front of Hydra. I was just breaking in front of him. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know where to break. I didn't know anything. I mean, he definitely had better pace. It's just mistakes got him. It's just, he definitely had faster pace. Well, and obviously you took the pit stop um, as it dried up, and uh, did you know with him staying out on the racetrack that you would be able to kind of distance yourself more from him? Or To be honest, I didn't even know it was going to stop raining. <laughs> I was just pitting. Right. He was catching me, so I just pitted. Tried to put him off a little bit. But... Well, nonetheless, uh, Vanquish, congratulations on the race win, and we hope to see you back for the remainder of the season. Uh, but congratulations on the win today. Thank you. And for all you that are watching, I see a good portion are still here. Uh, next week we go to Laguna Seca, as that will be week three. Then week four we go to Catalonia, and then we round out the season at Spa. But we do appreciate all you guys that were here today. I did, enjoyed the interactions. Uh, once again, I'm SSR Mayhem. We'll see you next week at Laguna Seca. And once again, your race winner today, ESV Vanquish. JSR Hydra finishing second, third RZM Breeze, fourth ESB Crossland, and rounding out your top five FRF Tiago. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week. Have a good night.